the today's portion is called Balak, and it's from uh, Numbers 22 to 25. In this portion, we see Israel starting to take over the promised land. And Balak becomes very frightened about what he sees. And he calls for Balaam to come and curse Israel. So he sends a delegation, and Balaam says, let me pray to the Lord about this. And God says, who are these people? Who are these men? Don't go with them. So he sends them away, which is a good thing. He did the right thing. <coughs> but then Balak says, sends another delegation uh, with the promise of, of great riches and, and so forth. And Balaam says to the people, let me pray about it. So why should he pray about it? He already knows God's will. Obviously, he wants his will. So he prays, and God says, okay, you can go. And that's called God's permissive will or his will. So he takes off, and God puts an angel in his path. And the angel says, <coughs> you're on a, on a path of destruction. Be sure you only say what God tells you to say. So Balak shows Balaam Israel. And Balaam says, let's sacrifice to the, to the Lord and see what he says. And he comes back and he says, you can't curse a people who I've blessed. So Balaam takes him to another place and he says, perhaps you can curse, curse him from here. So he says, do a sacrifice again, and I'll see what God says. And God says, I have made a covenant with these people, and God does not break covenants. <clears throat> so Balaam takes them to another place, and, 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 they, and he sacrifices again. And he comes back, and he says, your tents, O Jacob, how lovely are your tents, O Jacob. You will go in and annihilate the nations, and I'll give you great success. And, Baal, and Balak is furious, and he wants to send him away, but not before Balaam gives him counsel. And the counsel evidently is that they can't curse Israel, but, God, but they can curse themselves if they sin. So the, the people of Moab, the ladies of Moab, uh, seduced the men of, of Israel, and they cause them to worship idols. And God sends a plague upon them. And, and the result of that plug, plague was 24,000 people were killed. <coughs> uh, Balaam has a final word from the Lord. He says, out of the, a star will rise from Jacob and who will rule the earth. And of course, that's a reference to Messiah Yeshua. So Balaam then leaves, but he is left with a terrible legacy. He is known as the, the person who, who took wages for unrighteousness. So we see that disobedience uh, uh, ends in some kind of calamity. Just like last week, we saw Moses and Aaron couldn't go into the promised land because of the thing. Then we, talk, we, we look back and we see Abraham. And Abraham is, uh, is said he was, he trusted God and was it was right, reckoned to him as righteousness, but then it says that he was blessed because he obeyed God. So obedience is the key to it. So we take away from this parsha the fact that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He doesn't change, nor does His word change. As Yeshua said, not one jot or tittle will pass away until heaven and earth pass away. So the question is, are we going to do his will or are we going to do our will? The choice is ours. Not for salvation. Salvation comes only through the blood of Yeshua who died for us. Shabbat Shalom.